the WWE thing yeah. is something that is super interesting to me. You see guys like Logan Paul, KSI, Mike Malak, George Janko, Jake Paul, all have had little stints yes. in WWE, right? And I think that they love those guys. Obviously, Logan Paul is a champion now. Yeah. What, what a huge accomplishment for him. Congrats, Logan. Love Logan. Every interaction I've had with him, every talk that I've had with him has been nothing but positive. I think that WWE sees the influencers now as like important, as guys that can bring the views in. And when they look a little bit deeper and they want some more guys, not just KSI or Logan or whatever, once they look a little bit deeper, who makes the most sense? Guys that are involved in this fits boxing, guys involved in happy punch promotion boxing, these guys have already had little forays in the combat sports, right? So it makes sense to bring them over and put them in another combat sport that's almost like combat sports theater, right? Yeah, obviously it's like very tough on the body. It's a real sport, but then you got the theatrics in it. You look at guys over here, especially a lot of guys over on Happy Bunch, Team Star, of course. Yeah. Uh, these guys all make sense to come on over to WWE. I wouldn't be surprised if they're looking at guys like us all the time. The one thing I gotta say to you, if you're gonna get into wrestling, tuck your chin.